purple laser. Whoa, that hands. is actually hands. really good. Good hands. We forgot to put earrings on. Could take them, photograph them separately, remove the background, try and bring them in, size them down, get the right color, get the right shadows, reflections, anything like that, but I don't even have them anymore. Let's grab the rectangular marquee tool. We're gonna go to generative fill, fashion earring. Now this won't be the exact accessory, obviously, because right. it doesn't know which one we didn't use. And there we go. Oh. I'm already okay with that one. <laughs> like that one. Look at how it Zoom matches. In. Oh my gosh. Look at how it matches the rest of the jewelry. Yeah, look at, look at how it matched the beads. Yeah, yeah. Let's grab our lasso. Generative fill, what do I want? Fashion, scarf, and then gave nice. me a thicker one. Either change up your prompt, change up your selection, or both. I can go back to the other layer and change earrings. So I'm going to change all of this. Let's make a very irregular selection. Medical, doctor, uniform. Okay, there's one. <laughs> there's two, I like two. <laughs> now I want to replace the background. Uh, make a merge layer, command, option, Shift E, select subject of the whole look, because it's all one layer. I'm gonna use the contextual taskbar, but I'm not ready to generate because we don't, right. it's she selected. I want the background selected. On the contextual taskbar is an invert selection. Click invert selection, everything is selected except her. Click expand, all the options I want for what I'm doing are right there. Just to hit expand, 20 pixels, expanding the selection into her. Now generative fill, medical lab in <laughs> hospital. <laughs> That's what we started with. Yeah. Someone outside, casual, beautiful day outside, doctor. What? In practice. This is a picture of me, okay. circa 1986. Yep. I wanted to see what it would do for, you know, additional 80s men's suit with shoulder pads. <laughs> kind of brought some of these looks nice. in there. Nice. Futuristic space suit, brightly colored with wearable tech on front. <laughs> Notice your neck showing in all of them. Yes. So if you would have selected up right, to your right. chin, then the outfit would cover all right. of that as well. If I were to, you know, add some sunglasses to my face. Oh, like we're getting places. If you really wanted to use these glasses, obviously Photoshop generated this entire area with new pixels. But if you mm -hmm. really, really wanted to use glasses like that or anything that has transparency and not just glasses, you have mm -hmm. a layer mask. You can just go in there, paint with black to reveal the original pixels and then you'll more realistic, right? So now, I mean, the glasses are a little too high up. In that case, I might move them down a little bit and then continue masking mm. the glasses so that they now work in the area where I where I place them in. And I, I think the big takeaway here is that just because we have AI doesn't mean that we lost all the traditional tools. So mm -hmm. we can still use those traditional tools to make the AI work when it doesn't. You know, you got nice hair pulls. You know what, I'm just gonna do blonde. How about this, blonde spiky hair. I'm gonna there we go. talk to my hairstylist. Look at your bleach blonde. I love it, man. <laughs> I love it. What you do you can't, think? You can't, like a leather jacket, guy. or you think? Oh, yeah, he'd be a cool guy. Wow. Look at that, man. That's a look. You know what? For funsies, why don't we generate this side? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. There's no hand, so I want to see what happens oh. when there is nothing. Okay, so we're going to change happens. the entirety of this look. And this is one of yes. the great things to do. Purple blazer. Whoa! That hands. is actually hands. really, really good. Good hands. This is pretty good. Isn't that insane? And it did a great job. If I was like, I'm over the cucumbers, I can always just add in a new pair of sunnies or something. Anything that you select will be replaced. So yes. if you are trying to do a wig or hair and you select the whole head, it is going to turn the entire head into a giant wig. You only want to select the area that you're going to be changed. Yeah. You know. I wonder if we change the fruit. Like if we did like Ooh. sunglasses with like kiwi, Okay. Oh, I mean, oh. those are pretty cool. Select just the fruit itself. Yeah, and, and then do like switch. maybe slices of kiwi yeah. or something. Yeah. There we yes! go. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I wonder so if I need fun. to do like photorealistic, you know, to like really get it more real. I like this one the most. Let's do like a, do you think it'll register hipster beanie? <laughs> Yellow hipster beanie. Okay. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Bye. Bye.